Okay, that's number eight. Nine here states that what is the limit as x approaches infinity of cosine x? So the limit or the LIM as x approaches infinity of cosine x, right? Of cos x here. So if you think about this question here, x approaches infinity of cosine x. So let's think about the function here, cos x. And we can actually kind of graph it out here, cos x here. Let me, uh, let me do a line. Let me do some lines here so it makes it actually a bit easier. So I have cos x here, and we all know how to draw cos x, right? So again, cos starts at 1, obviously, and then at 90 degrees drops to 0, and then at 180 degrees it would drop to negative 1, like so, and then back up to 0, and then back up to 1 here, right? So you get something like this. You get something like this. And this will actually oscillate, right? You get something like that, and then you can, you can extend this, and it, it keeps going, and so on, and so forth, right? So let me let me, let me just put some values here. So this would be I'm going to say pi over two radians. This is pi, three pi over two, and two pi, right? This here would be it's not exactly at one, but I'm just graphing here at two pi, right? So as x approaches infinity, what is the limit as x approaches infinity here, right? So if I can visualize it graphically, if I can visualize this graphically, as x approaches infinity, as we go towards um, towards infinity here, does cosine actually approach a specific value? In this case, it does not, right? I have no limit when as x approaches infinity, right? It doesn't converge to a point. It basically oscillates, right? And if you look at the domain and range here, um, it's the domain here uh, of um, of x here is x er because it go it can go towards infinity in terms x here but the y here the range is limited from between one and negative one right so my range of my the range of my cosine function so the range of my cosine function is y er but y has to be uh, between negative one and positive one here right so it's restricted and it doesn't converge and basically oscillates from one to negative one every two pi right so when we're talking about the limit as x approaches infinity of cosine x there's actually no limit uh, the limit does not exist here um, so this here I mean, it, this here does not exist so i'm gonna say dne or does not exist because uh, it does not converge to a specific number so i can't actually write down a specific number here um, because it oscillates from one to negative one here so it does not actually approach a specific number so limit here does not exist so the answer here limit does not exist this is correct so as yes the cosine function has an oscillating value from ne between negative one and one therefore infinity uh, can have any value in between right so we do not know uh it does not uh, converge to a specific value we know the range of the value it can be anywhere from one to negative one but there's no exact same va exact specific value in which the limit is actually defined as. so again the answer is limit as x approaches infinity of cos x does not exist this solution here is correct solution is correct good analysis here so that's question nine.